Welcome to The Buzz, where we bring you leaders in dental education discussing hot topic courses and industry trends. I'm Vanessa Emerson, founder of Dental Speakers Bureau, and I'm thrilled to be here today with Brandy Hooker Evans. Hi, Brandy, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me this morning. I'm always, always happy to see you. Now, for those who don't know Brandy, um, she has been a clinical hygienist since 2007. She still practices clinically, and she is also a practice administrator now, a wearer of all hats, I think it sounds like. Uh, her speaking and consulting presentations help dental professionals with the skill sets and mindsets that they need to deliver exceptional care. Today, we're going to be speaking about her program, Leave Cookie Cutter Care Behind, the Comprehensive Guide to Dental Hygiene Care. So, Brandy, get us started by helping us understand um, what's going on for the dental professional that, um, that, that this course can help them with. What, what's the challenge that practices or professionals may be seeing? I'm so glad you asked that because as a dental hygienist, we show up and the tradition is to have a patient every hour on the hour and provide a preventive cleaning for them. So we've created this situation in our dental profession that doesn't allow for us to really take excellent care of each patient individually. We kind of herd them through the cattle garden, just my eight o'clock, my nine o'clock, my 10 o'clock. And so what happens to us as dentists and dental hygienists is we are doing our best to do that preventive cleaning and the exam and get to that next patient. And so we're missing the care that each individual patient needs because we're skipping things that don't give us the tools that we need to be able to provide exquisite care. Now to elaborate a little further, what I love to do with audiences is get them pumped up and excited about starting each appointment with quality assessment. If we know what each patient needs, then we can have a roadmap to the next part of care. But if we just assume that they need a preventive cleaning, then we end up doing bloody profies that aren't profies all day long and sweating and no snacks and no drinks. And it makes for a monotonous and uh, unfulfilling life as a clinician. And so what I do with my friends that come and join, and I do like for the entire team to be there because a hygiene uh, program cannot be successful without exquisite teamwork. And I mean from dentist to dental hygienist, hygienist to assistant, front office, you name it. We all have to be on the same page to be able to take incredible care of our patients. So what I do is I give hygienists and dentists and front office and assistants the tools that they need to work together as a team, and then also the verbiage to communicate with our patients so that we're giving them the tools they need to decide for themselves what care they need. I, I say, let's stop telling our patients they have gum disease because half of the American population does. We know that the CDC is very, um, recently come out with the fact that half of all adult Americans have mild, moderate, or advanced bone loss. That's even outside of gingivitis. And then when the population becomes aged, we jump to three quarters of the population that has gum disease. Uh, so, so instead of telling our patients and feeling like they're not listening to us, I teach the professionals to give them the tools, get to the end of the assessment and have the patient say, what are we going to do? It's fantastic. And when the professionals come back to me after we've had a little chat in class or uh, personally about what I can say to my patient to get them to tell me they have gum disease, they're like, Brandy, I have a renewed passion. This is so fun. And I'm so excited to go and use this Monday morning and it worked. And so that's, that's where I come from is I want the professionals to have amazing days at work. And I want them to give the patients the tools to say, hey, I need a little something different than what we've been doing before. And so there's not that conflict between professional telling the patient they've got gum disease and the patient being like, what do you, 
we, we take all that away and we make it a nice conversation where everybody has the tools they need to be successful. Wow, that's awesome. So let me just repeat back what I believe I'm hearing is that in this course, and I'm looking at your course description and it looks like it's really robust. Like there, you could do probably a full day or a partial day. And, and, and when we look at the course objectives, um, it covers a wide range of, of um, practice management and um, communication and some leadership and like just a wide range of things. But, but ultimately this course is not another practice management course. I believe this course and, and what I wanted to emphasize is that this is really around the idea of a, of a structured a periodontal program, right? A periodontal therapy program. So with that, with that as the central core, we would bring in the team and understand how, ever, how everyone could support that and ultimately help the practice be more profitable. Absolutely. When people feel good about the days that they're having and feel like they are being the professional that they were trained to be, then everything just naturally rises, including production, because patients have gum disease. And so when we treat gum disease, it requires more skill and expertise and time and cost. So naturally, all those things just fall into place. I just can't emphasize enough that even though I am a hygienist and we are working for that periodontal program, we as hygienists cannot be successful without our team. Now, the beauty of that is once we get that team really healthy, even though in my selfish part, we're looking at the perio program, all the other aspects in the office, the restorative and the financial, all of those things for each other department, mm -hmm naturally does better too because we learn how to support one another and I am not an expert in insurance or finances per se but my patients don't leave my operatory without the basis that they need to go and have a quality conversation with my front desk team and so then they want to support me because I'm supporting them and when we as a team are working like that, it, it's astronomical, the results and increase in happiness and enjoyment of your job, which, hey, if we're going to leave our homes, well, let's, let's do something fun. Let's, let's do, let's make a difference. Let's truly make a difference in our patients' lives and each other's. You know, you're working with those people every single day. Like, let's have a quality day and it doesn't have to be a grind it can just be another fun day yes definitely well brandy it, i sense your passion about this topic i love that you have so much experience in the dental practice where you, you can see it from you know 360 degree view um, and, and to be able to see um, where there are challenges and how to solve them. Um, before we go, is, is there anything we haven't talked about that would be important for the meeting planner to know? I think that it's important for the meeting planners to know that if you hire me for a course, my goal is going to be to get that audience excited to be there for the day, happy they came to the course, and equipped to apply what we've talked about the next work day. I believe that we learn more if we're having fun. I believe we learn more if we're having a conversation and, and everyone feels like they can contribute. And being a current clinician, I just struggle too. I am in the thick of it. So I don't, I don't get up front and preach. I get in the middle and we dig through what's happening and get a roadmap and a game plan of how to come to a better, more exciting, more fulfilling version of our clinical care. So that's awesome. Well, it sounds like a great course and uh, it sounds like um, that it's been really well received in the past. Yeah, it's, it's fun. I think everyone is always relieved to have something they can use tomorrow and also enjoy getting the information while we were working together at the convention. 
Uh, exactly, exactly. Well, there you have it. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Brandy. It has been a pleasure to talk with you about this course, Leaving Cookie Cutter Care Behind, the Comprehensive Guide to Dental Hygiene Care. Um, for the planner, you can find more information on Brandy's courses and, and be able to reach out to her um, at dentalspeakersbureau.com, um, Brandy Hooker Evans. Um, you can also um, find information about her programs at um, stellaroutcomes.net. I'm doing it by memory. Did I get it right? Yep, perfect. <laughs> stellaroutcomes.net is her website. And um, if you'd like to reach out to me, info at uh, dentalspeakersbureau.com, I'd be happy to help connect you or answer your questions. Thank you so much for tuning in. And Brandy, thanks for, again for being here and sharing with us um, your, the exciting uh, program that you offer. Thanks, Vanessa. I appreciate you having me. Everyone, uh, be well, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>